welcome to Jemkin. Now, if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe it by clicking the subscribe button and to click the bell icon for regular updates. Now, let us start today's video. Today's video is on redox chemistry part 2 and here we will deal with usage of Nernst equation, introduction to formal potential and estimation of Mohr salt using KMNO4. Now before starting, if you have not watched redox chemistry part 1 video, you can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. Now let us start. Now first we will see how to apply the Nernst equation in different redox reactions. Now for the first one, we know that the Nernst equation is E and the couple we should write. So here since two components are present, copper 2 plus and Zn, so it is delta equals to delta E0 which is being given minus 0 0.059 divided by the number of electron transfer N log Zn 2 plus concentration divided by copper 2 plus concentration. That is, this is the one which is being reduced here and the one which is being oxidized is placed here. Okay, now we will do for the next one. So, it's easy. E Cu 2 plus Cu is E0 Cu2 plus slash Cu minus 0 0.059 divided by 2 electrons transfer, right? So 2 log 1 by Cu2 plus. We don't write the solid concentration because it is nearly equal to unity, right? Now we will go for another one that is MnO4 minus. Here there is a donation of electron. So right now this is a reduction process, right? So what we get here is E1 equals to E10 minus 0 0.059 divided by 5 log of Mn2 plus by MnO4 minus and H plus ion concentration which is 8 right so here we are writing the re product part and here the reactant part so now next it can be also written as E10 minus 0 0.059 by 5 log 1 by H plus concentration to the power 8 minus 0 0.059 divided by 5 log m n to plus divided by m n o 4 minus right now this part can be neglected so on neglecting the final thing which we get is this one that is e 1 and the new potential is F, that is formal reduction potential E10 minus 0 0.059 by 5 into 8 pH. This is a result of a pH effect. So this is the formal reduction potential. Now when at pH equals to 1, this formal potential comes nearly equal to 1.415 just on substituting this E10 value here and the pH value in this case we get this plus this answer right and for at pH equals to 10 E1F that is formal potential comes to be as 0.566 volt okay so this way we can calculate the cell potential which is your formal reduction potential now what is formal potential it is a potential of the system at experimental condition and hence it includes effect of pH complex formation and precipitation in the next example where we are going to estimate Mohor salt with the help of 
K-manifold, there we will deal with complex formation. Now see, we will estimate Mohor salt using K-manifold. Now Mohor salt is actually ammonium iron sulfate, NH4 whole 2, Fe, SO4 whole 2, dot 6H2, this is the water of crystallization. Now K-4 we know potassium permanganate and it is a secondary standard and it in this reaction acts as a self indicator. Now before knowing how to estimate we need to know whether it is possible to undergo this redox reaction and if possible then at which pH that is explain whether K-4 will be able to oxidize a solution of Mohor salt also explain whether this reaction is favored in acidic pH or alkaline pH okay now first we need write, to write the equations so first our equation is MnO4 minus plus 8H plus plus 5 electron and this is Mn2 plus plus 4 water and here E1 0 will be given as 1.51 volt next is for iron that is Fe3 plus plus electron this is on reduction produces Fe2 plus and the potential value E2 0 standard potential is 0 0.77 volt now we consider this as 1 and this as 2 now what is the expected reaction it will be 1 minus 2 into 5 because here 5 electrons are present so what we will do right now we will write the complete equation MnO4 minus plus 8H plus plus 5 Fe2 plus on minusing this equation turns here and this goes here right so this will be equals to M N 2 plus plus 4 water plus 5 Fe 3 plus okay and the standard cell potential in this case will be equal to delta E 0 which will be equal to E 1 0 minus E 2 0 and in this case there will be no need to apply the stoichiometric amount so here the value comes to be 1.51 minus 0 0.77 equals to plus 0 0.74 volt okay and we know that delta G is equals to minus NF delta E0 equals to negative right we know this one so see k 4 will be able to oxidize Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus from here we obtain since the value of this 0 0.74 is a positive number so on substituting this value here we will get a negative value of delta G so it is favorable now we will go for a pH action that is at what pH it is favorable at pH equals to 1 what will be the formal potential E1F we have already seen in the previous slide right that the formal potential at pH 1 is equal to 1.415 volt so we just place it here so it is 1.415 volt so delta E is equals to 1.415 minus 0 0.77 which is equals to 0 0.645 volt and it is a positive value so here delta G is negative so it is favored at pH equals to 1 that is acidic pH but at pH equals to 10 we have seen the formal potential of MnO4 minus Mn2 plus to be as 0 0.566 volt right so here delta E will come as 0 0.566 minus 0 0.77 gives us value of minus 0 0.20 volt and here the delta G 
value will come as positive so this one will not be favored right so that is why it is favored in acidic ph and not favored in alkaline ph okay now we will see our next thing that is how we estimate the fe2 plus ions present in the mohr salt using the kmno4 in our practical cases that is in titration so before starting you have to know few things right so what are those first in the conical flask we generally take mohr salt that is the solution of mohr salt then a reducing agent that is essential to and six normal hcl is being added and then zr solution is added and in the burette we use kmno4 solution so what is the function of essential to and hcl and why is zr solution added and what is zr solution these questions need to be answered to know this properly right so let us see essential to is a reducing agent now in mohr salt though it is primarily fe2 plus but there may be some fe3 plus so it needs to be get reduced to fe2 plus so we add essential to for complete conversion of that so this is the reaction now see what happens in solution is lots of cl minus comes due to hcl and essential to so the reduction potential of kmno4 is 1.51 volt and iron is 0.77 volt and this one is 1.36 volt so now what happens then both cl minus as well as the fe2 plus gets converted and thus we have to quantify the combined results for oxidation of cl minus and fe2 plus but we don't want it so we need to remove this so we need to remove this cl minus so what we have to do we either require to remove this or we can reduce this potential less than 1.36 volt so that it can't oxidize this cl minus right so what we use is we need to lower the potential of kmno4 below 1.36 volt so we add zr solution that is zimmerman reinhardt solution so let us see what is it it is composed of mnso4 h3po4 h2so4 okay advantage of this is it does not hamper the reaction and reduces e0 value of mno4 minus and mn2 plus now what is the role of mnso4 the role of mnso4 is that it supplies the mn2 plus excess as a result formal potential of mno4 minus and mn2 plus falls below 1.36 that is what happens see we know that e1 is equals to e1 0 minus 0.059 by 5 that is 5 electron transfer log mn2 plus by mn o4 minus and h plus 8 right so here if this value is getting excess so we can identify that this value total will become a positive value so we can write it as 1.51 minus and positive so if it is positive then must get less than 1.36 volt because it is getting more and more so on minusing some amount of concentration from here the potential must get lower to 1.36 volt that is from above the nonst equation for mno4 minus and mn2 plus system it is evident that the concentration of mn2 plus will always remain higher than the expected since some amount of mn2 plus is incorporated from zr solution itself and this will account for the reduction of formal potential in such a way that it becomes less than 1.36 volt and under this condition mno4 minus will no longer be able to oxidize cl minus to cl2 but only react with fe3 plus solution okay now we will see the role of h3po4 first of all it forms complex with fe3 plus and reduces the formal potential of fe3 plus and fe2 plus and secondly it marks the yellow color of fe3 plus so let us see now this was the previous equation right where fe2 plus was 
forming. If we write it like this, after complex formation, it will look like this, HPO4, and this is 3, plus, plus electron will give us Fe HPO4, and this will be 2. So, in this case, the net reaction will be previously, this was taken as 2, and the MnO4 reaction as 1. So, we can write now it as 1 minus 5 into 2. So, here what happens? The potential becomes less than 1.36 and the potential comes nearly about 0 0.20 volt. So, here delta G is high negative. So, this is thermodynamically feasible reaction due to the presence of H3O4. Fe3 plus Fe2 plus is transformed to Fe HPO4 plus slash Fe HPO4, right? So since Fe3 plus complex more stable as compared to Fe2 plus, harder interaction occurs. So the formal potential of Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus decreases to large extent and this in turn increases thermodynamic feasibility of net titration reaction. And also due to its formation of colorless complex with H3PO4, the pale pink color of MnO4- at the end can be properly detected. And if H3PO4 is not present in solution, then the yellow color of FeCl3 can mask the pale pink color of MnO4- at end point. Okay. Now, see here the role of H2SO4. This maintains the proper acidity of solution to prevent precipitation of manganese phosphate, mn 3 po 4 whole 2 Now, what happens? First, here the solutions are taken and KMnO4 is added with regular stirring of this conical flask. Ultimately, when endpoint is reached, we get a faint pink color which disappears after some time. It does not stay. Okay. 30 seconds hardly because side reactions occur. So ultimately we obtain the amount here. On further calculations of normality and using volume N1V1 equals to N2V2, we can obtain how much Fe2 plus is present in Moho salt using KMnO4. So this was the principle behind this and the redox chemistry about this. So this much for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like share, subscribe and comment.